Hi, you guys. It is time for episode 77 of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. I am Risa Auger, your happy, mostly healthy host. <laughs> um, I really am just so thankful that you guys are here. I'm so thankful that you want to make these changes that will make your meals a little healthier um, and make you feel a little happier so that you can just be the most awesome version of you, hi friend, that um, that you can possibly be. So um, again, if you join me live here on my Facebook, you can ask questions, you can say hello, I will say hello to you. Um, you can post questions ahead of time so that I answer them here. And um, yeah, it gets to be just like, I just like the live thing. And um, I think it just adds a little something to the podcast. And so, hi, hi, hi. Um, I would really love for all of you to join me live, actually. So if you want to, write it down on your calendars for, um, hi, for uh, every Monday, okay, most Mondays, around 6.15. Um, so like Memorial Day is coming up. I'm not sure where I will be. Hopefully we will be out somewhere because phase two, three, whatever, will be here and we will be able to switch it up. But um, for right now, most Mondays, 6.15, I am here. Mark your calendars. Remind yourself on Sunday night to ask me questions so that I can answer them. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about two big things and then of course my meal plan for the week so I can give you guys some ideas. Um, I will also be posting that meal plan in the Facebook group tomorrow morning and then every day this week I will be posting recipes for everything that I am making this week because um, I forget to write it in when I post my picture. <laughs> So check the feed, find the recipes, and I will usually post like, this was my inspiration, and then this is what I'm actually going to do, because uh, Lord knows there are very few things that I follow to a letter. Um, mostly, I use uh, recipes for how to and any tips. Um, like the other day, I made some, um, or last Tuesday, last, I was like, I know it was recent, last Tuesday. I made what I was calling zucchini enchiladas. Um, my husband would like me to refer to them as zucchini rolls with enchilada sauce because clearly without the tortilla, it is not enchiladas. Neither here nor there. The girl who wrote the article and the recipe was awesome. She gave so many tips on how to do the zucchinis, how to layer them in, um, how to get them dry. It was awesome and I just I followed that to a T, all the directions and then did my own thing a little bit with the seasonings, but everything turned out perfect. Next time, I'm just gonna make more cheese. Um, and I didn't really measure it out. I was like, oh, that looks like a good pile of cheese, and then it was not, it was not even close. So uh, next time, more cheese, always more cheese, right? Okay, so uh, there are two things I wanna tell you guys, and if you stay till the end, you'll get um, my full meal plan and everything, and then if you are on my email list, which is just, um, send me a note or drop a, drop your email in my inbox. Um, drop me a note on, on here in a comment. I will copy and paste it and then delete it so that the world does not see your email address. Um, you will get more recipes. You'll get a full story of this. You'll get all of this information. Sometimes I write down the same information so that you just have it. And sometimes I like add stories to it. So to this week, the email is um, almost exactly all this, but just a little bit more detail and all written down so that you have it as a note to yourself. And turn my light on. I thought I turned it on before and I clearly did not because I was really dark. Hello, beautiful girl. Oh, can I make you happy? Guess what we're having for dinner tonight? Cornbread. Oh, someone has her crinkly pants on. But she's pretty anyway. I love you anyway. You wanna come say hi? We're live. Wanna get crazy? Wanna get crazy? No? Mommy's funny dance, not working. All right, so let's get on with it. Guys, I wanna share with you two things. Uh, three things. Two things that add up to this other thing. Okay, anyway. Um, I totally think there is a formula for happy, healthy living. I do, I have been researching, I, you know, I read so many articles, I read, I listen to so many podcasts, whatever. You know what all the experts have in common? 
They tell you to move a little. They tell you to eat healthy for the most part. They tell you to rest. And then they tell you to be positive, to get that positivity in every day, however you feel that that is. Um, meditation, reading the Bible, um, listening to your heart, listening to an inspirational podcast, um, journaling, however you want to be inspired every day, find that piece of positivity. Um, so what I'm going to cover today, because I could go on and on about rest and how I'm horrible, horrible at it, and um, how we all are and how we all need to do more of it. Um, but today I'm going to go over, well, I guess I could go over the movement piece too, because I'm starting a new workout this week. And if you want to hear about it, you can ask me. I don't know why I'm dancing to that, but it gets me all excited when I start a new calendar. Um, I'm going to talk about the eating piece and the eating piece is kind of the biggest piece. And sometimes it's the hardest piece. So you can go out and run, you can go out and walk, you can have a dance party. But what the heck do you put on your plate and why is all that exercise not doing anything and not making me feel better? Well, it's because maybe possibly you're eating the wrong things or you're eating in the wrong portions or you're eating too much of the crap, right? Too much processed. So once you know these four things that you want to put in everyday life, then we're going to talk about the five things that you want to put on your plate. So the five things you want to put on your plate are um, a bright veggie a colored veggie, or sorry, bright veggie, a green veggie, a lean protein, a complex carb, and a healthy fat. And I linked to some things to define what all those things are in the email, because I did it last night. I was so proud of myself that I like was all proactive because I knew that today I would be slammed with some client work, which I love too, but I want to keep you guys on track too. So, um, and I like writing the email. I like doing this part. This is like the fun part of my day. So, um, not that my design, okay, anyway, I could go on and on about how, like, I love both of the things that I do for a living for different reasons. Okay, so, um, so when you're building your plate, let's take, um, let's take a really classic dish, right? So maybe, like, stuffed potatoes and pork chops, right, that you put on the grill. So you got your stuffed potato. Your potato would be your complex carb, and then um, throw some cheddar and broccoli in there, right? Cheddar and broccoli, yum. Add some carrots. There's your green veggie, your bright veggie, your healthy fat, because there's cheese, right? Yay, cheese, remember more cheese, always more cheese. And then your lean protein, because you're doing a uh, pork chop. So those are your five things. And then, let's take this one step further, when you're looking at your plate, make sure that your veggies take up the most amount of space. Your salad, your veggies together, if you have two separate things, right? Sometimes I eat two separate things, sometimes I make it all one. That would be the biggest part of your plate. Half your plate, guys, half your plate. Or half what you're serving. It doesn't have to be half your plate because it depends on how big your plate is, right? I have friends that love these paper plates that are like the big oval ones that you do at like Thanksgiving and oh my gosh, they're like giant plates. But I still try to do half my plate veggies, quarter of my plate, my lean protein, a quarter of my plate, my complex carb, depending on what the carb is of the night. And, um, and then I just sprinkle on some cheese or some olive oil or some something, some other healthy fat. And that's how you make your meal plan. So then for like that one meal, so then you get a blank meal plan. Oh, this one's already filled out, but you get your meal plan and you do that for every single meal and you don't have to write it all out. This isn't third grade math, right? Where we have to write out everything. We write out everything in third grade math three times, three different ways. It's crazy town. Did not have to do that when I was a kid. But anyway, you write down your main ideas. You know in your head how you're gonna cook something or what you're gonna use as your salad dressing. But if you write it out, then you're not gonna have broccoli every night. You're not gonna have tacos every night because I could have tacos every night. Um, I'm gonna serve broccoli here and then maybe here. And I'm gonna do chicken here and maybe here because also you could have chicken every night, right? 17 different ways to cook chicken. It's like, I'm sure there's a cookbook called that. Um, so you really don't wanna be on camera today, do you? Oh my goodness. So that's how you guys do it in a nutshell, like just broad overview. You write down your five things at each meal and you don't have to have all five things at every single meal. I mean, snack time, right? Let's say you're having apples and cheese. You're not gonna have a, like, Fruit is your complex carb, hint, hint, by the way. Um, you, you don't need to 
have all five at snack time. You don't need to have all five at every single meal. You need to have all five most meals throughout the day, okay? So this isn't a checklist. This isn't like a get crazy and be like super specific. This is a general overview of what you need to focus on. Whatever your biggest meal of the day needs to hit all of these. Whatever your smallest meal of the day, and usually that's snack time for me, I'm probably gonna have a protein and a healthy fat because that's what's gonna keep me going throughout the afternoon when I get that slump in uh, my energy. And then some water because usually when you are slumping, it's probably because you're thirsty. Speaking of thirsty. All right, so those are my things for you guys this week. Uh, exercise, eat healthy, rest, rest, and get some positivity, right? And then when you're focusing on those things every day, it becomes part of who you are, but just becomes part of the way you live. So we got the other things down. Let's talk about the food things, right? We got the five things on our plate. We're gonna get those five things in every single meal. We're gonna meal plan, because why? Because it keeps us organized because it keeps our grocery bills down, because it gets you in and out of that grocery store super fast. Um, who wants to wear a mask at that long, right? Oh, okay. I miss being able to just walk through the grocery store and look at all the pretty things and smell all the fruit, oh, let me tell you. But for right now, we zoom through, right? We gotta get it done. But this will help you organize. It will make you get a more accurate grocery list. It makes your husband happy when you're on budget. Oh wait, maybe that's just me. Anyway, there's also this thing that I've talked about before called decision fatigue. And your brain is only wired to make something like 64,000 decisions a day. Or, and I'm serious, there's like that many decisions that you make every day. Use one of your lower energy days to do this so that on your high energy days when you have a million meetings, when you are know that you're gonna be running errands, when you know that you're gonna be exhausted, because then you've already decided and you're already prepared. And if you want to mix it up and make turkey tacos instead of chicken tacos, and then the next night you make turkey meatballs instead of chicken meatballs, who cares? Because you have the stuff and you can, and you can get creative and you are ready to go. All right, I will step off my soapbox and I will tell you what I am making tonight. So if you've already been on the page, you've already seen what I'm making tonight, but I am making cheater chili. My cheater veggie chili. Want to know what cheater veggie chili is? I'm going to saute an onion. I'm going to add this veggie lentils mix because it's kind of like ground meat. And then I'm going to pour over some low sodium tomato uh, red bell pepper soup. And then I'm going to season it like you would chili. And I kid you not, it tastes like chili. And then I'm going to make some cornbread because why not? Right. Oh, and I probably will add in some like spinach or kale or something because we need a green, we need a green veggie. Um, and then I'm also going to serve it with, oh, oh, cornbread, cornbread. And then you put your pumpkin pie in there and there's another veggie. And it makes this go further so you're not getting as many carbs as you think you are when you're eat. up. Oh, yeah, yeah, see my kid didn't know and she likes it when I do it too. She, she eats them, she had no idea. So I might have to put some extra butter on hers tonight, but that's okay, because butter's good for you. Okay, and then we go and we get these hot cherry peppers, and they're amazing, and I use them instead of, instead of like regular jalapenos um, on chili, just because it's like a flavor burst, and it's really yummy. Uh, the other thing I do, side note, is I use this juice to make my own salad dressings sometimes with a little olive oil and a little garlic and you just whisk it up and you toss it in your salad and it's really good. Okay, what else am I making this week? Oh, uh, I put links to all this stuff in the email or no, in, in the Facebook group, sorry. Confusing myself, I'm trying all these new things, I'm trying to give you guys so much information. All right, so then tomorrow, that is last week's, tomorrow I am making taco pasta, which is all the things you'd put on tacos over zucchini noodles and then we're having chips and salsa on the side, and those are gonna be turkey. And then uh, to, uh, the day after that, I am making uh, mashed potatoes, but they're half cauliflower, half potato, and, um, and I season them, and I put lots of garlic and a little bit of cheese, and they're delicious. Um, 
and I'm going to make the kale slaw with that. And but then over the potatoes, I'm going to um, grill some chicken sausage. And uh, in the Facebook page, I put a recipe that has a gravy that goes with it. I'm not sure I'm gonna make the gravy, but it might, I don't know, it just depends on how much time I have. Um, I am not a huge fan of gravy and I put this in the Facebook post too. So I usually have like a little pre-done one from Trader Joe's and so um, my husband loves gravy and so he might just have it over and I'll just put like sriracha because I put sriracha on everything. All right, uh, what else is going? I am, oh, my husband finally made a request for dinner and he volunteered to use the barbecue so I'm all excited. So I'm going to do, we're gonna have the rest of the cornbread, see? plan out your meals, then you have leftovers to reuse other days and it's less that you have to do. And then I'm gonna do some bell pepper poppers. I'm probably gonna do half bell pepper and half shiitake um, peppers, the, the like, hot ones, the long skinny ones. Um, and I'm doing those with like a cream cheese bacon filler thing. Uh, my friend makes them, she gave me her ideas. I also found a recipe and it's on the page coming up on Thursday, it'll, it'll be posted on Thursday evening. Um, I'm going to make a green salad and then I'm just going to throw some steaks in to marinate during the day and then he'll put them on the grill for like five minutes. It'll be awesome. Uh, and then Friday night, Friday night, I always put so much pressure on myself for Friday night because Friday nights I teach and um, I like to show what I make, um, what I'm making for dinner that night and it's like, it's totally live like this and when I'm cooking and I'm talking and it's amazing but it's so much pressure to make it like perfect. And I'm like, have to show them how I wipe the plate to make it prettier when I take a picture. Um, so anyway, that night I'm gonna do this like creamy stuffed mushroom thing that I've never done before. I'm kind of scared, but that's okay. And it has, um, and then I'm gonna do grilled chicken and some rice and, um, oh, in the stuffed mushroom. So you use the big portobellas and you put them in a big, like the big pan, right? And you make this creamy sauce and then there's tomatoes in there. Um, and then I'm just gonna grill chicken in a pan next to it. But I use my grill pan so it gets pretty marks. Um, and actually, I might put it in the air fryer. I don't know, it depends on how warm it is. It's supposed to cool off. So that is that. And so see how I am varying my carbs. Like I can look at my paper and I know that like one night I'm having a car um, rice, one night I'm having potatoes, one night we're having bread, one night we're having this, one night we're having that. And that way we don't have sandwiches and then cornbread and then hot dogs because that's all the same kind of carb and I want to make sure that my body is getting a various amount of carbs. Not that any of them are bad and you just buy the highest quality you can of each one, but you want to vary it so that you are giving your body different vitamins, different nutrients, different sets of things. Also, okay, you can get really crazy, right? And you can, and by crazy I just mean details. You can get really detailed. If you do more cardio one day, you're going to want more carbs. If you do more weightlifting another day, you're gonna want more protein. So today I did weightlifting. I wanted a lot of protein today. So I had, even though it was a meatless Monday, I had um, some sliced deli meat in my um, salad for lunch today. I had egg whites as part of my snack. And then these puppies have a lot of protein, but I will probably also, like the cheese that we put on top is gonna have protein in it. So um, just lots of places to get the protein. And I just really focus on that on the days that I lift really heavy. So. That is that. Um, and that is everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I want to make sure that I keep this brief. My daughter is right here, by the way. This is like, I'm, he looks like I'm petting something. I really am. I am petting my daughter's head because she's in some need of some cuddles. So um, I do just want to pray for your meals this week. And so if you will join me, um, that is part of what I do for positivity. Um, and that is a daily devotional. All right. So. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing these people together. Thank you for having them join me on their journeys to be a healthier version of themselves so that they can be an even better version of themselves so that they'll have the energy and they'll have clarity and they will just be able to focus on the things that really matter because they have made a plan and they are feeling like they know what they're doing. Lord, let their meals nourish their bodies. Let it give them energy and let them just be amazing this week. In your name I pray. Amen. And that is it. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be here next week. Uh, so join me next Monday at 615 right here on the Facebook group. And that is facebook.com slash groups slash happy healthy meals. I am Risa Auger. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.